if it's your first game or act after practice or a calm error, you will get lag connecting. Okay. That could be it. Thanks. I hope I get matched up. If not, it's not the end of the world. Clear the lag, queue a game, and then cancel. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. That's really great advice. Thank you. I can't think of a time I've ever made it out of the first stage without, um, without already being down about ten people. Well, I think what I'm expecting here is that a few of the people in here are the high-level Japanese players, not the whole crowd. It would be extremely cool to, um... I wonder, I wonder if it's worth trying to organize something like this myself for US players? You think there's enough people still playing Mario 35, Americans, uh, and there's a need for that? Like, I mean, I know that there, I've, I've heard that people have been, or the Japanese players have been organizing high-level lobbies, but is there enough of a reason to split it up, and would there be any value to doing that? Because, I mean, I've, I've got no problem doing the legwork, like, letting people know about it and organizing it. That's a bummer. Is there like a specific night that most of them are playing? I'd love to try to get in on a few of those nights if there's like, if there's, you know, one specific night that just everyone has seemingly agreed to participate together. gonna do that. Usually the streams are announced on Discord. Okay. Um, I didn't, I don't see anywhere in particular that I got reached out to on Discord, but, um, you know, if you, if you have some way of, uh, of get me in touch with whoever I need to get in touch with to participate in that. I'd love that.
I'm not sure there's a lot of value in trying to explain Blaze Ball. Blaze Ball is a cultural experience. I've been out of Blaze Ball now for long enough that I, it's barely recognizable to me. How's Blaze? How long has Blaze Ball been on Siesta? I know they had a whole, like, other league that I missed out on. It's very possible I haven't missed all that much. I just kind of assumed uh, it had been going since I stopped paying attention to it. Tried to land on that. So Alright, I'm just. You know what, Bowser? You win this round. Go down that pipe. Legitimately did not want to go down it. Timer's probably moving a little bit fast for me to take the coin heaven, but I'm gonna take it. I don't care. How much time do Bowser's give? It depends on how you kill them. If you kill them with a star, it's two seconds. If you kill them with fire, it's five seconds. And if you kill them by hitting the flagpole or the axe at the end, it's ten seconds. Thank <laughs> you. 
God damn it. God damn. <laughs> Playing the long game. Holy shit. Up, man, that's fucked up. Holy shit. You, I mean, and with that many, oh my god, I now understand. With that many Lakitus, you get. Almost your time refilled at the end of every level. I've learned. I've learned so much. Incredible. 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 I love this. I love this so much. I'm... I'm beyond impressed right now. Yeah, you were doing really well, Parks. Oh, I've got I've got to play more of these lobbies. It's it's entirely different than just playing against pubs. This is a completely different type of play. Not not a different level of play. It requires a different approach and it's fascinating. This is so impressive to me. You burn so many fewer coins taking this approach too. They're just, they're so calm. When the timer is just like bleeding, they're so calm. I'm...
But this approach wouldn't work against most pubs, right? Because you're de you're depending on the full kill at the end of the level giving you so much time back. And that's not true in pubs most of the time. Not until you get into a state just like this. I'm, this is incredible. This is just incredible. I I absolutely have to find out how to get into these pubs or into these uh into these lobbies in the future. This is this is incredible to me. I want to play like this all the time. I want this to be I want I want to play like this 100% of the time. The only problem is that these warp these warp zone pipes don't give you time for killing all these. You actually have to clear them yourself if you want the time. This is incredible. This player right here is stacked to the tits with money. This is incredible. This player too. Yeah, I'm not sure I would be confident to be able to do that timer refill in the warp warp zone area. Wow. No, I mean, he refilled to 300, but he refilled to 300 by doing it manually is what I'm saying. And that, that depends on, like, really understanding when the Lakitus are going to throw so that you don't jump on them when they're throwing. Why are they just standing there? This is an incredibly high-level Japanese lobby. Um, Bundat hooked me up with some Japanese players uh, for me to lobby with. And they're chilling out because it costs them a lot less to to just take the refill every now and then. They're, they're trying to slow play the lobby. It's all about, like, letting the, the timer run down, and then refilling it, and then just stalling it again. I mean, this this game's gonna take as long as some of the early games did. Oh my god, I didn't even realize it. You're absolutely right, Fickle Pickle Pie. How did I not realize that? They fill up the number of entity slots so that the Lakitus can't throw. Holy shit! That's something else entirely. Yeah, I didn't understand what I was seeing, but now I get it. Now I get why this is even more impressive than I thought. This is, this is another level of tech I hadn't even considered. And what's, you know what's even more amazing to me is that this is almost entirely irrelevant to what I'm doing at AGDQ. This would not help me. Like, long playing these these matches, I'm not sure that I could do the same thing against, against pubs. So, this has no relevance on the AGDQ, on the AGDQ lobbies.
but it's just a completely different style of play. I'm I'm transfixed by this. Their cash pile's not going down either, because they're not having to constantly burn the roulette wheel like I do. I thought I had played pretty well. I did not realize what I was up against. In my head, I had envisioned that they were much more skilled players than I was, but I didn't realize that their approach to the game was completely different than mine. I didn't realize how outclassed I, I really was, and this is so much more impressive than I realized. I, I feel like I'm just a broken record, but I'm just fascinated by this. This is this is really something special to watch. There is a cap on the number of Lakitu. It's when the game can't spawn any more enemies. They still go into the queue, though. Sayaru definitely has the lowest number of coins. They're, they're running out, but still playing ten times better than I've ever played, so, you know, no hate. That's sm what what a smooth surf across those Lakitu. Look at that. God. And then and then he'll stall here until the time runs down a little more. I think that the missile knows where it is. Yo, Uchino, thank you so much for all those gift subs. I really appreciate it. Uh, this game has been going for about 25 minutes now. I mean, Bundat said that the first lobby they participated in was 55 minutes long. Does the timer keep speeding up, or does it stall out? Does it, does it, or sorry, does it eventually stop speeding up? Is there like a max speed for the timer? Because I don't think I've seen it go any faster. I thought it just would keep speeding up, but it really doesn't seem to be the case. Ten seconds per second is the max. Wow. Yeah, Sayaru is 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 in the middle of their death rattle. Uchino, thank you so much for those gift subs. I really appreciate it. Sayaru is holding in there, though. How do I pronounce these other names? Uh, if, if, if anyone can tell me and cares to tell me, feel free so that I can stop just saying this guy or this person. Saputa? Saputa? Sabuta? And the one letter is just ah. I'm rooting for Ah right now. Ah has been crushing it this whole time.
There's a 99 double star player that's mastered the infinite bullet bounce in 7 1. Well, the odds of me matching up with that one person in particular is low, so I'm not too worried about it. This is just on another level. It's it's just really impressive to watch. Sayara, uh, finally, finally lost, but... Christ, did they put up a good run. Almost 30 minutes they lasted. Yeah, I assume the infinite just has them staying in place so they don't spawn any more enemies. It's just them bouncing indefinitely. Both of them are just stalling out the timer right now. It's wild when you realize how outplayed you were, right? Like, I, I, I actually felt really good about the way I played that lobby. I felt like I was playing really, really well, surviving a lot of things I didn't deserve to survive. And to find out that, no, I was, I was outclassed from the start. I don't even remember how I died. It's so long ago. I remember- I feel like it was just a stupid mistake I made. Oh, I pushed- I pushed forward too hard in 3-2. Never mind. I remember how I died. What an idiot. What kind of idiot would die that way? God, look at this. It's hard to believe that this could be beaten just with the infinite and 7-1, but like the thing about the infinite and 7-1 is that these these players are occasionally having to spend coins. The 7-1 infinite bounce is never spending coins. I just it's sometimes hard to fathom that anyone can be this good at anything. And Oz just over there big chillin'. You know, it would fix the it would fix the issue with the um, infinite and seven one if the timer just kept increasing in speed, right? Would you be willing to link that bund up? Oh, on your Twitch channel. I'm sorry, I thought you were talking about, like, YouTube. I know, I'm invested. I'm invested at this point. Like, I don't care. I have to- I have to know how this plays out. Septa almost always wins. Well, now I'm definitely rooting for Aw. It's always, it's always nice to root for an underdog, you know? This would actually be really fun to intentionally get in these lobbies just to 
die to the first Goomba so I can commentate the whole match. I know, Deke, but you've given- I'm saying you gave me an idea. You gave me an idea for an actual thing I'd have fun doing. This is- it's- it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable to watch how calm they are. Like, not only is the timer at its fastest it gets, but also because they're stalling position, the timer's actually s Is it- is it even faster in this state, or does this angry timer effect not actually impact, uh... Not actually impact, um... The fastest timer. God, Ah just got wailed on in in coins. They are really low. Oh, they need a they need a better pull than that. That roulette block is not doing them favors right now. Oh, so lucky. And they have no reason to collect that right now. They just, they, they need to like clear some of this out and then they can grab it. They're stalling the timer with the power-up transitions too. How can you be so calm when it's at 30 seconds? Like what is wrong with you? How can you be calm during this? Uh, you didn't want that. That's not- that's not a good thing to have right now. Okay, at least get the power-up state back. I mean, it's definitely Septus to lose right now. Septus still has, like, 500? Yeah, 450. But Oz holding on with just like 30 something coins. Not even worried about it. Oh my god. The timing of when they spawn in is making it perfect for bouncing on them between their throws. Just. Unbelievable. Man, I wish I had known this had been going on the whole time. I might- I might have been more likely to, like, get involved in this and learn. It almost feels like a waste now that there's only like two and a half months left of this, but but maybe, maybe, maybe it's my time to shine. Are there very many, uh, like, uh, um, Western players that participate in the big Japanese lobbies and are any of them any good? dancing with these. Oh! Oh, that- my my soul, it hurts. I'm- I'm in pain. That was incredible. Jesus, that was incredible. I mean, everyone below- like, I was just the last of the good players. I, I was- I was at the top of the pub and the bottom of the good players.
Jesus. Uh, each star counts for 100 levels. I watched you play, Parks. I consider you one of the good players. They're going at 37. Oh, I'm tempted to do one more. I, but like I, oh. All right, all right. I'm gonna do it just because this is too much fun. I was, I wasn't going to, but I'm in. I'm in. I'm going to try to play their way. But I'm going to not do it as well. <laughs> yep. Starting at the 37 minute mark. Good luck to you as well, Parks, if you're getting in on this one. This will be my last one. That one was going to be my last one, but there's no way that I can't... I, There's no way that I don't try one more time, right? I need to feel com like the part I'm. So I'm obviously not going to be able to do well at things like um, Lakitu surfing, but I can adopt the strategy of once we're in Lakitu hell, I can slow play it. Like I should, I should feel confident knowing that if I slow play it, let my time run down a little bit, and then play the level as aggressively as possible, or you know as. You know what I mean. Like, just get to the end with a lot of those Lakitu spawn that I can get that time back and repeat. That's the part that I need to feel confident about. I think the thing that's wildest about this to me is that there's literally no way to practice this, right? I'm not sure the physics of how Lakitu moves would be the same in Mario Maker as it is in SM Super Mario, uh, as in Super Mario Brothers. Thirty-five. Oh, 
Oh, this lobby's starting early, huh? It was one of these, is it not? It's not. Okay. Could not remember where it was. Serpents and for serpents and lacatus. Thank you. 
Really wanted that to be a fire flower. I feel like if you're gonna play against these players, your best hope is that they die early. Before they can get into the game loop that allows them more or less infinite time. I'm not really sure there's any secret to that. Well, for me, they're not, just because I'm not getting a lot of attackers on me. Just jumped right into a pit. That's fine, we're gonna watch some good players. There's Ah again. I don't know that person. They were not in the last one. I think that one's Septa again. Don't know that one? Oh, like, crap, I was against a much better crew this time. Hey, it's Bundat! Hey, Bundat, I'm rooting for you a little bit. I gotta tell you, I'm still rooting for Awe. I, wa I want them to take it back from last time. But I'm rooting for you a little bit. Oh, is this one Mofushita? That's how you pronounce this one? The the characters look the same as same to me as last time. Okay. I don't I can't read that one either. I can't read any of these, I'm so sorry. At the very least I feel like I should learn Oh, is this one Septa? The middle character looks the same as the second character here. But it has a circle on it. I'm so sorry. I'm sure that I'm embar I I'm embarrassing to listen to. Makes the fricative of plosive. I actually know what that. I I actually can interpret that. And this one is uh, Te Yoru Terry. So there's Septa. Rion. I tried to make good things happen. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is- this game is the game of all the bullets. Oh my god. Y'all. Y'all. I missed out. I missed out on the hotness. I'm so sorry. Bundat's trying to go for the infinite here. I think I think he's trying to like set up with the Cause if you stand against the There we go. There we go. Bundat, get it. Alright. Oh everything hey, everything's off the table. I'm rooting for Bundat now. Uh, doing the infinite is the power play. Supposedly, it's very hard to set up and be good at, though. A as I think we're seeing here, is is that this is the challenge, is setting the whole thing up. Uh, 
Looks like looks like Bundat's got the rhythm again. Look at this. Look at this. I'm in love with this. I'm so sorry. I'm in love with this. Imagine being this good at anything in the world. Couldn't be me. I feel like I could learn this. I feel like I could. I feel like it's possible to learn this. This is amazing. Okay. They've got a different rhythm this time, but it's working for them. Bunda, I'm still rooting for you. I don't want this to come off as critical, but like, I feel like I have a lot of skill as a platformer player that I could use to do this really consistently, like more consistently than this. If I could just learn the setup for it, it's godlike. Yeah, Bundat's just moving on. Oh my god! Can you imagine recovering from that? Can you imagine being a person who can recover from that? Can you imagine being this good at anything? Jesus, Bundat. That was incredible to watch. Holy shit. That that feels like that feels like it's illegal for me to have seen that. Oh, did we lose all? Oh, did Ah already get knocked out? I was rooting for Ah for the comeback. Alright, well, here's Scepta. Yo, Bundat, you killed it. That was- that was so much fun to watch. I was rooting for you. I was here rooting for you. You can ask anyone in chat. Thank you for gifting that sub to Bundat. I gotta get in on more of these. This is so much fun to watch. Even even though I got knocked out like a chump really early, just just from some really dumb stuff. That I mean, just just losing and then watching this is just incredible. Look at that. Look at the mini surf in order to get back your time. It's... It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It doesn't... It doesn't feel fair that some people are this talented. You know, it like... It feels like... Why can't I be good at things without trying? Why should I have to put effort in in order to be good at something? Uh, it's not the same physics as in SMB1, but um, in this game there's a practice mode that you can use to um, play the levels in this engine. Um, and I think it would be perfectly fine for learning to set it up. Good night, Carrie. Thanks for dropping by. I'm rooting for Scepta. I'm sorry. 
I'm only rooting for Septa because I, uh, because Ah got knocked out and, uh, and, and Septa was in my previous match and won it. So, like, I feel like I'm rooting for them based on just familiarity. Are we gonna see Septa try to set up the bullet bill bounce or does, do they not even go for it? What a lobby this was. So this is Choco Me. That's it. If nothing else, this may force me to finally learn how to pronounce Japanese... Uh, kana? I'm just gonna say Kana because I don't know what type, type of Kana it is. Okay. I wish that I had spent some time learning how to at least, like, read Japanese back when my brain was good at learning new things. Now I'm an old man and I don't- I feel like it's too late. At the very least, I'd like to be able to pronounce names that I'm looking at. I mean, even if I don't learn how to actually read Japanese properly, just being able to pronounce words that I see would be nice. I might try to lab the 7-1 infinite. It might be cool to show that off if I get a GDQ. What's the clock running strat? Uh, if you let all the enemies back up, then you can refill the clock really easily without constantly pushing forward and spending your coins. These players are also very good at clearing out these walls of enemies without having to spend a lot of coins, so... This is, I mean, it's just incredible to watch how, how, how much they don't seem stressed out by it. So this is Chakami. This one is, uh, Tayoro. Gao. And I don't remember this one. This was Mike Metry. I'm still rooting for Septa. I'm still rooting for Septa. So this lobby's been running for a little more than 20 minutes. Yeah, so I'm running for about 23, 24 minutes. Look at that. The perfect climb to get up onto the, onto the Lakitu Surf. Most players would see this wall of enemies and would just start rolling. I mean, that's what I do. When I see a wall of enemies like this, I just roll the roulette. Yo, glitch cat. Glitch cat, I'm I'm wrapping up soon, 
But look at this. Look at these. I'm I'm I I'm uh, hooked up with a few. I got hooked up with a high-level Japanese lobby, and, uh, Glitch Cat, you and me. Glitch. Glitch Cat, you and me. We need to do this. Look at these players. They've been going for 23 minutes under the current rule set. There's five players remaining. Glitch, we need to- you and me together, we need to play in these lobbies, and we need to commentate these lobbies. We gotta bring this content to Twitch, you and me, before this all runs out. We gotta- we gotta bring this content to Twitch. People- people need to see this. Thank you for the link. I will check this out and and uh, and um, learn this sometime. Blundat, big fan of yours. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to this. I I was on the fence at first, but this is. I'm so glad that I said, yeah, fuck it. Why not? Uh, sorry, to address the question, when I say current rule set, uh, they seem to have changed some things at some point that have made the games run shorter. Um, things like probably increasing the, um, the, the speed up timer and the amount of time it takes the clock to speed up. Most matches these days take under 15 minutes for just general pubs. No, so that's the, that's exactly what I was saying though, is that the GDQ, um, what we're doing for GDQ, like this has no impact on it. It's like a completely different way of playing because this depends on playing with players who are good enough to send you enough stuff to be able to play this way. If you tried to play this way in a pub, you just lose. You would just lose. You have to hook up with really good players to be able to play lobbies in this way. And I want that. I want to play this more. I want to do this. I've never gotten, or sorry, I infrequently get uh, Lakitu walls like this in pubs. Usually it ends way before it gets messy like this. Players will turn off attacking in order to calm things down a bit. Um, and just in general, they'll die before the, the wave gets this big. They have a method for, uh, for pool partying together. I mean, you know, I got invited to this and I had about 10 players from the, from the Japanese lobbies playing with me. So, I mean, it's, it's possible to get synced up. I'm- I'm still rooting for Septa. I know that I could be watching some of these other players, I'm still rooting for Septa. Who's the best player in this pool, Bundat? Don't worry, I won't tell them what you say. I won't tell them that you're- you're saying that they're not as good as someone else. Who's the best person in this lobby right now? Septa and Mike Metri are pretty close. Did Gao get knocked out? Yeah, Gao got knocked out. All we've got left is, um... To Yoro, uh, this is Chakomi, Septa, uh, and Mike Metri. Yo, what was I in this lobby? 
I was 11. Ugh. I got shut out fast. Yeah, glitch cat. That's what I'm saying. You, you and me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you the hookup as well, and we're gonna plan for this. We're gonna get in on these together. You and me can sit in a call, and we can have fun with these. Still rooting for Septa. Hell yeah, Sky. You wanna, you wanna try getting in on these wild games? Absolutely. This is this is a completely different way of playing though. You have to you have to I feel like you have to go into these matches with a plan to play this way. Everyone gets disconnected at two hours? Wow. I'm surprised that they put in a hard limit, but also not super surprised. Yeah, I think I think that would be really awesome is to is to have someone who's intentionally streaming as a commentator who gets in on the match and then dies to the first Goomba on purpose to spectate the whole thing. There's Okay, I don't- I don't mean to turn what is definitely- the coolest part of this is how cool the gameplay is. I don't mean to turn this into like a content farm thing, but like, there is content here. Like, holy shit, this is fun to watch. God, he almost got the smooth entry into that surf. No! Oh, save it! Oh god, all right. These players are so unbelievably talented. I it's just I can't get over how talented they are. All right, so Mike Metri is is down on coins. Wow, so is uh, Tioro. Septa is in the best position right now on coins. Re look at how look at how much he lets the timer go. Like that's comp like that's confidence. There's no way I would ever feel confident enough to let the timer get that low. Yeah, uh, Bundak called it dynamic entry and linked a, um, uh, a, a highlight of what it looks like. There's apparently a consistent way to enter the Lakitu surf. Septa's letting it play down, but, like, this is the, this is the game loop here. At this level of gameplay, this is the game loop. Look, both, both, both Septa and Mike Metri are both letting the time run down. Oh my god. Oh man, I wish I had flipped over in time. I saw the screen go red. All right, so it's just Septa and Mike Metri left. Look at this clean surf. And once once the sprite slots fill in, the Lakitu's can't throw anymore for a little while. So you have a you have a perfect opportunity to just surf as long as you want to. Septa wins it again. What a lobby. Wow. That's incredible. I'm I'm not gonna play another one. I need to play more of these in the future though. Uh, I need I need to play more of these these lobbies in particular. The pubs are fun. Streamers sniping me, fun. This is something else though. This is entirely different.
Yeah, I'm getting in on these in the future. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get in the Discord server where they're organizing the these, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get hooked up with these. This was a ton of fun. And I'm gonna drag Glitch Cat and Sky and whoever wants to lobby in these as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is happening.